So you all should have now been able to access the Biology 151 guide. If you haven't done so, start from the library website, click on the Guides icon, then select Biology followed by Biology 151 and here you have the guide to this class. On the right hand side you will see a really cool picture of somebody and below me is my contact information. So if you wish you can always send me an email if you have a question. So by the end of this session today you should be able to evaluate the quality of online information sources using a test called the CRA app test. You will be able to develop effective strategies to searching for information and you'll be able to understand the anatomy of an article. Finally, you should be able to cite a website and an article in APA citation format. So as we go from left to right, from home to websites, this page here gives you some information about evaluating sources, things like websites. And one way to evaluate the credibility of information, like a website, is to use a test called the CRAAP test. The CRAAP test is in fact an acronym for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy and purpose. And you use these headings to ask yourselves questions about the actual website that you're viewing. If I click on this picture here, it gives you some information about some of the questions you can ask yourselves based on the acronym. For example, currency. Where was the information published, posted, updated, revised? In other words, is there a date there? Do the links work? Relevance. Who is the intended audience? Is the information worthy of citing for your topic? Authority. Who wrote the information? Who is the author? Is it Charlie Brown from the University of Timbuktu? That should raise questions. Or is it a professor with credentials, a PhD from MIT, Harvard or Cal State University Fullerton? That's a good indicator. It's probably credible information. You can look at the URL link as well. Is it at .com, .edu, .gov? Accuracy. Can the information be supported by other sources? Are there articles that support the information that they're conveying to you? Purpose. How is the information structured? Are there a lot of advertisements? Are they trying to sell you something or entertain you or are they trying to teach you something? Is the information objective? So what you do is you use this acronym to ask yourselves questions about the actual website that you're viewing. And based on the, the answers, you make a judgment call whether you think that information is credible. So if I go back to the uh, Biology 151 guide. The first part of the exercise here today is you will need to pick one of his websites and use the CRAAP test to evaluate it. For example, if I pick on one of these, this is the free online pregnancy test. And I'm already, when I'm looking at this, I can see some advertisements here. If I scroll down a wee bit, I cannot see any date. And it says here, get started now, fill in your name and press the start button. So if I plug in my name, click on start pregnancy test. And it looks like it's doing a hormone level analysis on me. And there you have it pregnancy detected. 
if I scroll down a little bit, it's, there's a link here that says view my baby. Who's the daddy? Oh boy. Pick another daddy. Oh no. Then there's another link to go to birth certificate. So there you see that you can see obviously that there's something wrong with this one. If I go to the back to the actual Biology 151 guide and pick on another site, this is a site on plants. Um, at the top here on the right hand side, I can see USDA. This is the United States Department of Agriculture. And in the URL, I see a .gov. So that's an indicator it's probably credible. Um, scroll down a little bit. I can see a date. I don't see many advertisements here, so they're not trying to actually sell me something. It, lo it looks as though they're trying to teach me something. I see pictures here of plants. Let me just click on one of these links. And various biological terms. Just click on another one. Pictures. It says here data source and documentation. Let's just see if there's some sources here. And here I, I, I can see uh, various books cited. I can see at some articles here. So when I'm looking at this, this gives me the impression that this is indeed a credible source compared to the other one. So if I go back to the Biology 151 uh, guide, what I'm gonna what you're gonna have to do now is I would like you to spend something like 15 20 minutes picking one of these websites and using the cry app test to evaluate it and if you pick something like this one the free online pregnancy test still use the cry app test to determine uh, to confirm that it is indeed cry app you all should have a worksheet if you don't have a worksheet for this class there's a library instruction assignment here which you can access it this is what the worksheet should look like this is the biology 151 library worksheet and here you can put in for information about your actual website that you've picked uh, the first part here the website citation uh, you can format for a citation depending on whether there's an author or no author. There's no author, you don't be, you don't put the author's name in. If you have the author's name, you put the author's name here. If it's a organization like a government source, you put the name of the government source, US Department of Agriculture, for example. Date, just put in the year, 2019 whatever you can see on the actual website. If there's no date, just type in n.d. and that's it, no date. Title of article and then retreat from the URL. Here the URL www.etc and you put this information here in the first box. And then you just answer one or two questions from uh, the CRA app acronym. And that's it. So I'll give you 10, 15 minutes to work on your website. Thank you.